Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Uh, welcome to our channel. My name is Mr. Hassan and the channel you're watching is Malimu Hassan. Next chapter, approximations and errors. Now, an approximated value is one that is considered closer to the true or actual value. Approximations are made by either rounding off numbers to specific number of decimal places, significant figures or truncating the numbers. Significant figures Sometimes and in many instances actually, when we do calculations, our computations give answers with very many digits. For example, the number on your screen. I don't know which instrument can give a measurement to this accuracy and how necessary that will be. We therefore express numbers in simpler forms using only the significant figures correct to the desired degree of accuracy. The rules governing significant figures include First, significant figures are counted from left to right. Secondly, all non-zero digits are significant. Zero may or may not be significant depending on its position in the number. If a zero occurs in between non-zero digits, then it is significant. For example, 7052 and 7.204 both have four significant figures. If a zero occurs at the right end after a decimal, it is significant. For example, 5.0 has two significant figures. When a zero occurs at the left end of a number, it is not significant. For example, 0 0.245 and 0 0.0264 have three significant figures, both of them. Now this is where the problem comes. If a zero occurs at the right end of an integer, it may or may not be significant. For example, the number 760,000 could be correct to two, three, four, five or six significant figures. When the number is expressed to two significant figures, none of the zeros are significant even though they are written. Conversely, to six significant figures, all the zeros are significant. On the other hand, the number 995 can be written as 1000 correct to one significant figure. In this case, only one is significant and the zeros are not even though they must be written. Or the same 1000 correct to two significant figures. In this case, one and the first zero are significant. The other two zeros are not even though they must be written. Truncation is an approximation where digits are chopped off to a given number of significant figures or decimal places. For example, 0 0.5555 truncated to three significant figures will be 0 0.555. Truncated to four decimal places, it will be 0 0.5555. Rough estimates are used to find the approximate value of calculations. This involves rounding off numbers to given significant figures to make the computations easier. For example, give the rough estimate of 15.9 plus 7.2 over 9.83. Now we can approximate these values as 16 plus 7 over 10 and that will give us 2.3. Next, using a calculator. Now, a calculator is a simple kind of a computer that can perform a large number of mathematical operations. A scientific calculator is more advanced than the ordinary shopkeeper's calculator. This is a Casio make of a calculator, one of the models acceptable for use in high schools. An important feature is that the calculator must not be programmable. When you look at the calculator's buttons, there are functions written on top of them, like the numbers 0 to 9, the plus sign, 
the minus sign, the multiplication sign, equals signs, cosines, tangents, and so on. This indicates the primary operation of that button. Above some of these buttons, there are yellow writings, and in others, somewhat pink colored writings. This indicates what I can call the secondary operations of these buttons, like the cube root above the square root button, antilog above the logarithm button, and so on. On the upper left side, just below the screen, there is a button and above it is written shift. This button is pressed first to operationalize the secondary operation of the respective buttons. We will see that. I doubt if you will ever use the alpha button, so let's leave it for the moment. We see a few operations and let's start with fractions. This is the fraction box here. I want to input two thirds plus a quarter. The cursor is positioned on the numerator position now, so I press 2. To switch the cursor to the denominator, we use the central replay button. Press down and you see the cursor now moves. Now input 3. There is our fraction. Again we use the central button to move the cursor to the right. We now have a full cursor. Press plus and use the fraction button to enter 1 over 4. So 1, move down, and 4. Now press equal and there is our answer, 11 over 12. Now we will use this answer in our next calculation. We have 11 over 12 here and I want to do 11 over 12. Instead of typing 11 over 12, we use the answer button located here. So 1 minus answer. Press equal and we get our answer 1 over 12. Now